Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Fract Overview. Initially launched on PSVR 1, so it's kinda awkward to get it with nowadays standards. I suppose the mentality is to port everything that's possible eventually to our platform because then you're exposed to much bigger audience and at the same time some of those previously released games are leaps and bounds better from what is coming out recently. So Fract is an action shooter game where setting a foundation for the future Synapses debut, you're setting off on a course to save the humanity from the invasion of interdimensional enemies and run headfirst into an explosive end of the world. Once you're inside, you can immediately tell that it's a dated project, which can go both ways depending on your VR experience and how you like your mechanics served if on a more simpler site or the Bone Labby level. Fract really represents what was happening before the quest era, with a straightforward yet rather easy to understand gameplay, some intense locomotion, run and cover combat situations. Graphically it's rather fine, it's something in between cell shading and comic book style, which normally translates well to our platform and here it's just enough for it to not come across as basic and instantly introduces you to a certain ambience going on. Overall as a whole package it's fine as it is, I don't necessarily know if it was upgraded from the previous versions. But for me, if you're just starting with the VR adventures, then this is a good pinpoint to go with and eventually head into some physical games. Personally, I don't think I'll be continuing this simply because at this point in the game, it's too simple and there's not enough going on for me to get interested. It was cool to see how VR pretty much started to grow and what I would have been playing if my journey would launch way before. Let's go get fracked! It's a cell shading. <laughs> well, I mean, this doesn't look crazy, but I know this is a dated experience. Still has some ambience to it. Wow. <laughs> Ma'am, you are going through trees. I'll have an eye on your best pass. Hurry it up. Oh, this is very old school. So far we only had one skin game, so it's nice to see another one combined with action, I assume. But this is very slow for now. <laughs> wow, there's nothing in the environment later on. <laughs> Let's take it nice and easy down the slope. I don't like nice and easy. But it is very responsive. Oh. <laughs> I 
I can't steal the skins, it's just my head. Eh? Hey, bet you don't even remember me. Rosales flew you up to your brand new life in paradise. Pulled them mountains unstable since they started drilling. You're gonna have to ski like hell, because you won't live through what's coming. Shit. It's here. Oh, that's a real beauty. That's a seven story. Go, go, go! Oh my god. No sudden movements. Uh-uh. <laughs> Too bad I can't turn and stuff. Like manually. <laughs> I don't know about that. The problem is that I don't say it normally, like... Whoa! There are no textures in the distance. So I'll just go straight, I suppose. It's so hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I crashed. Damn, that was a nasty landing. You okay? Where the hell am I, Rosales? You're not safe, but I'll get you out of there. I can't turn. Did I disable it? There's nothing. It's very stylized, like... Not a complete cell shading, but something in the middle with... Comic books and stuff. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for a hard worker like you. That's Finch. It's like they're brainwashed. I can't I own you. I own you, and it's a beautiful day. Oh, this will come in handy. Why is he so big? From where? Okay, so it's semi manual. I'm impressed. Where did you say you learned how to shoot again? I didn't. It's very cinematic for some reason. It doesn't feel like you're playing a game, but rather than you're in a film. I like that I can grab the obstacles. Got plenty of cover there. How about using it?
It's also a different movement when you do. Do I have a sight here? It almost feels like a wave shooter, but again, it was made back in the day. For nowadays standards, is just fine. But I wouldn't say the graphics are actually that bad. What the hell is that? Ah, lucky boy! Never knew they had some of the fruit in there. That's like gold dust. Take a bite, and you'll get really sharpened up, ready for anything. Okay, up you go. Steady does it. Are those mushrooms or something like? This doesn't feel safe. I'm taking acid to climb. It's very much classic VR. But why it got ported over now? I'm not totally sure. Also the sound design is like in the background, not necessarily here. <laughs> Yeah, so she go where the game says you to. Not sure if I see any extras. That's a sudden change. Ah, great. I'll have to find another way around. Reckon you could use the crane to move that cargo container? Make some sort of bridge? Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. What is happening here anyways? I must say. It's a cluster, so it's kind of weird to start climbing with a gun, but that's just details. Hmm, not as easy as it looks. Relax, 
relax. It's just a king-size claw machine. Grab yourself a teddy bear. Well, it was way harder in Vertigo, though. I was made for all day alone in a crane cabin that figures <laughs> oh, I thought we grabbed it I also don't focus on doing the headshots cause it doesn't feel like aiming is the focus here <laughs> Soldier boy, are you smiling? Smiling's not for everyone. You never told me your name. Okay. Cowboy, might as well grab it. Can't two-handed though. Oh, but that's fine. Looks like you could use all the weapons you can get. I still need to press the button to eject it. Okay, but how do I? Because I have the ammo. Or I didn't. There's a uh, max. <laughs> what the? Ah. It's kind of weird that you're getting necessary mechanics so late into the experience. Alright, well, I have to stop here. So far, it feels basic, but that's just because it's an old port of an old game. I can't tell if it was upgraded or not, but on Quest, it feels fine to play, and it's very easy to get into, like, you don't have very complex mechanics going on. I wouldn't call it bare bones, but if you have never experienced any other VR action game, then this might be good to start with. Like the controls are very clear and tight. You won't get confused in button mapping. I also find it funny that those models are of a Quest 1 controller. So you can tell it's an oldie, though still to this day it holds up. And if you're searching for something cute, fun and rather short lived probably because the maps are linear and I don't think the game lasts a very long time. 
So overall, for now the standards, it's decent enough.